Hey guys, um, this is a uh, Bowswood review. Since like loads of people, loads of you have been asking about it for it. Um, so yeah, basically, Bowswoods are these piff, literally like piff fingerboard decks. Um, they're made in uh, San Diego, California, west coast of America, if you didn't know. And they are made by Jordan Morales. I don't actually know if that's how you say his name, but yeah, that's how it's spelled, so that's how I'm going to say it. And they, these boards are literally just so good. First thing I want to talk about is the shape. Like, hopefully most of you um, have seen or like ridden or have a Berlin wood. And basically, in terms of mellowness and depth and like height, the concave and the kicks are about the same as a Berlin wood ish, I would say. I mean, the concave feels a bit flatter than a Berlin wood, like a standard, standard shape Berlin wood. And the kicks, I think, are about the same height as a Berlin wood, I would say. Um, he basically based the shape off a Berlin wood. Um, because Berlin Woods have a sick shape. Next thing I want to talk about with these boards is the the wood, like the wood, the material that Jordan uses. It's I don't know, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like basically a really really high quality veneer wood. So yeah, another thing about this board is like really light, and it just it feels less dense than a Berlin wood because like that's basically all I've ever ridden um, so I'm comparing it to that because I don't know any other boards to be honest it kinda like I mean I've, I've tried a flat face and it kinda has the same sort of weight as a flat face like um, heaviness the wood is like really high quality and he dyes the wood himself uh, this one green dye obviously pretty sick color not gonna lie, he does uh, like dark blue, not dark, but like blue stain, and he does red stain now nowadays. But he can get, he can mix like other colors as well. But I don't think he's bothered. The the ply combos are different, basically on all boards. This is like a custom one. He asked me, what what ply combo do you want? Because like I really like colored plies and stuff. So, all right, more about the shape. Um, compared to Berlin wood. Like, if you look at this, the the nose and the tail, basically, they're more sort of, like, wider at the at the top and the bottom than a Berlin wood. Like, for a Berlin wood, it kind of gets thinner towards the end. Like, obviously not like a cruiser where it goes into a triangle, but it's like, this is more of a square type shape, and Berlin wood is more of a triangle type shape if you get what I mean. Like, it is pretty much, like, a barely a difference, but it's it's noticeable. Like, for me, when I jumped from Berlin Wood to this, like, I had to get used to the, the, the width of the kicks and the, like, the nose and the tail, basically. Um, for, like, the first hour, I couldn't do kick flips, because, like, it was just a different width, and for, like, where I placed my fingers, yeah, I had to get used to that, but when you get used to it, it's, it's literally, like, such a it feels so good to have it on your fingers, under your fingers. Now, he does uh, graphics, like wear graphics. Um, mine wore out, um, so I was like, fuck this. So I just sanded it all off, and then I did my own thing uh, with a Sharpie. Um, that's it, really. That's all. Oh, that's the explanation for why I don't have a graphic on mine, but he does really nice graphics. Um, Right now, I think I think right now he has like five graphics in stock. So go to the website basswood.com and look at them and get one because they're actually literally the sickest thing. To be honest, like overall, in terms of quality and feeling, I would say they're better than Burlwoods. That's a that's like a really really strong statement, but I actually think that because overall they're lighter and the shape is a bit like more there's more board under your fingers meaning you have more control and more place to land 
than a burlet wood and they're lighter as I said that um, so that's basically the main reasons why I think they're better and like they, they feel more like springy than a burlet wood like burlet woods feel kind of like when you you know if you skate and you've had a board for like a month and then the pop is starting to like wear out a bit and it's a bit dull that's kind of how Berlin Woods feel to me compared to these. These feel like literally a brand new, fresh board, first hour, like a skateboard, if I'm comparing it. So yeah, and the pop lasts. Like literally, I've had this for like, I don't, I don't, like a month or so, and the pop is still on. Like there's literally no, no give in the pop at all. And uh, another thing, this board is so stiff, literally like I'm putting like a lot of force right now and it's not bending at all, like no flex whatsoever. But on a burner wood, if you had one and you tried to flex it, it flexes a bit, which is kind of like, it's not good. That's, that's why they have that sort of like dull feeling when they pop, but this is like spring as fuck. So the craftsmanship is just really good. I mean, he puts loads of effort into his boards like he doesn't just make the board and sell it he he actually like cares about his boards like each one is done like precisely like no mistakes no nothing because he's been doing it for quite a long time like f a few years like two three years i think um he's been making these beautiful balsawids um so yeah they're they're hand like sanded by hand shaped by hand like the mold I think he's made the mold himself, yeah. He's like sort of made the mold himself. I don't know how you even make molds, but he lacquers the boards himself and the the holes, like they're they're perfect. Literally there's the, the trucks they're like right straight on. They they're not to the side. The the, the I I've never had an easier time putting screws on like putting the trucks on basically. Yeah, they're homemade. He does it at his house. In San Diego, I, I honestly think you these are just the sickest boards. So, and I'm not just saying that because he he sponsors me, but I'm saying that because they're like they're actually good. I'm I'm being honest. But yeah, you should just go and buy one. You know, you can do tray flips every try basically if you have one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, go to basswood.com and buy one. They're perfect. I don't need a dime, bitch, I'm still a high roller.